What's good? Okay, let me get it together. Oh, ooh, ooh, you're not supposed to see that. <laughs> good people aka winners that's what we do hey that's all we do hey 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 i'm coming to you with another video hey coming to you with another video Ricky, Ricky. yo i am back you guys and i am super duper excited thank you guys for all the love on the last video that i did which i will put up and through chill. It should be right there, okay? And when you click that I, the whole drop down situation, it will let you know all the videos that I'm linking in this video, right here, okay? So before we get to what I'm doing, which is, I will tell you right now, it's a twofer. That is, if you don't know and you're new to the channel, that is a two for one special, okay? Speciality. That's what I like doing because I like to kill two birds with one stone while I'm sitting here getting, you know, doing my whole little situation. I try to get it all in. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. No, but anyway. Before we get into that, I just want to invite you to join the fam bam if you haven't already, because I know that YouTube recommends stuff and all that good stuff, and I appreciate their ministry, but sometimes people don't subscribe. So I just want to let you know to join the fam bam. You should see something scrolling through showing you how to do it. You could turn those notifications on so you don't miss a beat. I usually upload every single weekend, but here's the thing. If it's not on the weekend, rest assured that it is going to be that week, sometime that week. Okay. And I usually keep you updated in my YouTube stories. If there's going to be a delay, Whew, breathe. <laughs> but anyway, I have a two for one special for y'all. Now, what it is going to be about is numero uno. I am going to be trying out this new collection from ColourPop called California Love. Boom, 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 boom. Just kidding. No, but seriously, it is called California Love. But this is what the palette looks like. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't know. Uh, I'm thinking of doing, I want to do this neutral eye look that I love so much, but it's a little more of a detailed neutral eye look. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to really concentrate on the foundation, but I will tell you guys that they do have a couple of mascaras in here. They have a brown mascara and they have a coral mascara. And I am going to try to like zoom in just a little bit. Y'all going to have to, this is my little, this is my homie, uh, my little homie, my little mirror homie. Okay. She's going to be chilling. All right. In this video. Cause I, I, I may need to pull her up a little bit. All right. Don't be mad. Now this is a brown mascara and that is actually what I'm going to use today because it's not a black one in here, but they did send me a set of, uh, mascaras, which probably have the back, the back, <laughs> We're not, let's not start off like this, but it has a black in it. So maybe that's why, but then it also came with a coral mascara. Now I'm a part of the itty bitty lash committee. So if I were to use this, it would have to be on lashes. Otherwise it just, it wouldn't make sense. So this is their coral one. So it came with the shadow, the eyeshadow palette, which is a really nice neutral palette. It looks like, and you know, ColourPop makes the bomb eyeshadows. Like I have no complaints. And then they came with like five lipsticks, but I will do the swatches at the end of the lipsticks. We're going to get onto this eye look, but the second video that you want to make sure that you turn your notifications on, um, for is going to be. So I have under eye lines, which almost everybody does. It doesn't even matter your age. Although when you get older, it does increase. I really do believe, but I'm going to show you just some techniques to make them not so visible and to make you just, just like look all the way flawless. Okay. But first I got to show you them up close and this is not the video for this, but I'm going to give you an idea. Okay. And you'll see at the end and then you can watch the other video to see how I did it. So what we have here is lines, which is just a human thing. Okay. It's normal. I am going to show you the things that I've been doing to, uh, somewhat conceal those lines. And it is not just with concealer. So you might want to check that video out, but for this video, we are totally going to play in this new collection. Okay. So first I'm going to use, you guys know, Mira is coming forth even now right there. Cause, cause I need it in my life. I'm going to go into this LA girl primer. Hold on this LA girl primer HD primer. It is in, um, dang, I think it's nude. I don't remember. I always forget. Let me check that, but we got work to do right now. Just lay that down. And I told y'all like, I give the illusion that my lid space is more than what it is like that. I have more and I'm just going to, oops, that's okay. And I'm just going to blend that over here. It doesn't have to be perfect, 
because I'm going to do a little bit of detail work. I'm going to do my best to stay with this palette as far as the crease color is concerned, as far as the lid color. But I'm going to tell you right now, the brow bone, there, there is none. Not for me, not, not according to what I like, y'all. Y'all know I am very, very picky when it comes to a brow bone. <gasps> you know what I forgot to do, though? I forgot to do that. I forgot to hit that crease up. Mm -hmm. Now, this, what, Highway 1. Oh, I hope this is okay. And I already put on um, concealer on my lid and I set it with a powder. And now I'm just doing the detail work, but this is what I should have done first. I think I'm gonna have to wipe that off. My Lord, how are we gonna do, what? I'm gonna try to fix it. I like when y'all see me do mistakes. You know why? Do you know why? Cause I ain't got a lot of kick it. <laughs> no, but not just that. The other thing is to show you how to fix them. Cause I like to do the crease color first. Okay, that's a good crease color. Now, I thought it had a little bit of shimmer and I was like, I don't want shimmer in my crease, but this is fine. Now, because I don't went and messed this up, I'm gonna have to fix that. See how I just fixed it? It kind of looks like that, but I'll get in there. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna take a, a flat brush. This one doesn't even have a name. I literally just wash brushes. But I think I'm going to go in. Let's see. Let's see. And then you guys can get an idea of what to use for yourself. This is a, a peachy type color. Now I could totally use this one. Well, it's an orange, kind of orange sickle type color. I don't want to use that. I really want something neutral. So I may go with that one. I know it's hard to really see it on me guys. Or I could go with this one that doesn't have any type of peach tone to it. I think I'm going to go with that one. Let's see. But you know, I may mix them. Who knows? I, this is my first time trying the palette. So I'm going to go into this color called the Bay. Yeah, I want the Bay. I may mix her. So all I'm doing is putting the Bay over that uh, primer. Now here's the thing. It's almost the color of the primer, which is cool because I wouldn't just use that primer by itself, right? Because you want to make sure that whenever you use a cream, you're setting with the powder. So the only reason that I go up here with my eyeshadow is because I take it a little further. It's because when I open my eyes a lot of times, you know, if I just went on my mobile lid right here, you wouldn't see that color and I don't like that. Now I'm gonna go on with Laguna. Let's see what Laguna is giving me. Ooh, I like those together. All right, so now we're gonna do this the right way, how it should have been done in the first place. Just gonna take it up here. Try to make it even with the other side. This is what I do when like I have an event um, coming up. This uh, is for my jewelry, but we are dressing up. It's like a formal, um, we have to have wear formal attire, right? And so a lot of times your, your attire is pretty like, you know, bomb, right? It's pretty like blingy or whatever the case may be. And you don't really want to go hard on the eyes all the time, depending on the jewelry and everything that you're wearing. But this is like my go-to look because it is a neutral look, but it's like totally stepped up a little bit. So this is like, it's my go-to situation. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving y'all, I'm giving y'all the tea. I'm giving y'all the tea. What you do unto one side, you do unto the other. I promise y'all, these looks y'all, just, it just requires a little bit of magic. It's not hard, but I'm concentrating this crease just right here. I'm not taking it all the way over. My favorite, most favorite brow bone highlight. I keep saying that I need more. I need more, more, more. I was in that thing. This is my Morphe 3502 palette, y'all. That's universal and I love her. So I'm just gonna go into that brow. Oh, clean brush too, girl, like whoa. Clean brush like whoa. Oh, but you see, I love this brow on highlights so much. Just, oh. So the kicker is, First, like after I blend this together, I put on my liner, my wing liner, and I'll show you what I'm going to be using. And then I put on my lashes and then I do the detail work after because it just out, it, you'll see, it'll come together. I promise it'll come together. I usually do it after so that I can see the placement. This is a 
absolute or an absolute fave. This is the new Ofra Verified Liner. This is all I have been using for the last, gosh, I wanna say like three months, and um, I have not changed it yet, and I do have more. But I'm not gonna film this part. I'm gonna put the liner on, I'm gonna put my lashes on, and then I will be back. It's just me, my Mary, and I. Okay, no, for real. I'm back, and what a difference some lashes make, huh? And so I did a little bit of liner, and so now I'm gonna show you the detail work that I was talking about, and we are gonna grab this palette. Now, there is still some eye work that I wanna do, but that is gonna be for the next video. However, of course I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you all the final look. Now, here's where the detail work comes in. So I'm gonna use this shade called Mission. Ooh, because I'm on a mission to make this pop. Get it? So I'm gonna use, this is like a point pointed blending brush. So basically I like take this pointed brush right here. I hope y'all can see that. And I take it and I go in that dip right there, like dip baby. And then I go right there. And that's like my signature. And then I blend it. So let me wipe off this brush a little bit because we don't want it harsh. I just take it and I blend it just like that. And just have like that you know, that little gradient to where it starts here and then it blends out. And so I can't really see what I'm doing until I put on the liner. So that's why I do the liner so that I know exactly where I want the placement to be. That looks black girl. That looks deeper than what it looked like in the palette. Yo, I usually use brown. So let me see if we can lighten that up with the original color we used. Cause I don't want it that dark. I told you guys I would swatch it for you. This is El Capitan. That is totally California. Oh my goodness, today, that'll be cute on the lid. But I would do it in the inner corner, but that's a little bit too chunky. Now this one is called Surf Rider. Okay, so this is cruising. Cruising together. That's a little too, mm, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. It's a little too, too golden, but this one is called Diego. And Diego, I think is what I'm using in the, in my um, crease, not my crease, girl, my inner corner. I think that's what I'm gonna use, Diego. And I'm gonna just put it right here. Yeah, Diego's what I want. Booyah. So that's the eye look. Real quick, I told you guys I would show you the swatches of this lipstick, and that will be the end of this video. Um, of course, I'll show you the final look, you know what I'm saying, as we close out. But this is going to be the swatches. And this one is, it's, oh, ultra blotted lip, girl, ultra blotted lip. So that is called Scenic Route. This one is called Ojai there. I guess I said that right. Ooh. This block, cause it's a blotting type lipstick, it's not swatching like the best ever, but that is the Ojai there. We're gonna have to put that verbiage all the way up in this video because, well, O-J-A-I there, <laughs> Ojai. This one is called Swing Away. That one is Swing Away. We're gonna see how this looks, cause I, I thought it was gonna be like a glossy situation, but I've never used these. And this one is called Double Double. Y'all know I like that double lip, what? Double, double. And this one is called Cypress Chill. A Cypress Chill. I think that's the one I'm gonna rock today, possibly. But I really wanted to go with like a nude nude. So that's Cypress Chill. That is it for this video, you guys. I will put the final look in, you know, it's gonna flow through as I'm talking to y'all. But thank you guys so much for um, watching this video. I totally appreciate you. Make sure that you guys go ahead and subscribe and you turn your notifications on because the video that I'm about to do right now, right up and through here, yes, it is gonna be on the under eyes and I want it to wait and save that. So I will be doing that, all right? Have an awesome, almost said amazing, but that's my word too, but have an awesome, but less day and I will see you sooner than you think confidence is key you know what I mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty yeah.